What is up my friends and today I'm going to show you how to test the glow plugs. For the test we need a glow plugs, of course, here we go. We need a fully charged battery. If you're first time to the channel please subscribe and click that notification bell and you won't miss any videos. Yep, clean the battery terminals, we need a good connection, we need a jumper cables and the multimeter you can use pretty much any kind of multimeter and if you have the alligator clips it's good if not don't worry about it all right that's pretty much it and the safety goggles okay before we all begin check the overall condition of the glow plug check the ceramic heating element make sure it's not broken no cracks and the connector side of the glow plug with the threaded pin and uh, yeah but by the taking on the overall external look of the glow plug we cannot really tell the condition and that's why we need to use the multimeter okay as yes, we'll do a resistance continuity test and second will be glowing test that's one's most fun okay we need to connect black probe to the comb and red one to the resistance terminal and set your multimeter to resistance you see that omega sign and first we're going to do the continuity test just set that mode and you will see that audible symbol on your display continuity will tell us if its circuit is open and glow plug is broken let's check the continuity on our multimeter okay can you hear that sound now we're good to go okay we're checking the continuity that's good first second third and fourth okay continuity is there and electricity can flow if you see that oil sign that's not good open circuit then we don't need to do any other tests for that glow plug all right now we're switching to ohms you see that ohm symbol and we're going to check the resistance for the glow plugs resistance should be around one ohm for example for mitsubishi delica standard value is 1.1 ohms you can check the your vehicle manufacturer specs and uh, but generally saying it should be around one ohm if you see the oil it means it's open circuit electricity cannot flow and glow plug is defective yep if you have those alligator clips it's fine it's easy to read but you good without them okay we need to connect the multimeter to the glow plug do the same way that i'm doing one and find the part of the glow plug where is a bare metal no any contaminations or paint or anything and see it's 0 0.7 0 0.66 okay glow plug number one and uh, will continue and you got an idea this is a uh, our resistance test and i'm going to check the rest of them and speed it up All right, now we have our all glow plugs checked. Let's check the resistance on our alligator clips because everything has a resistance. And uh, write it down 0 0.08. And we need to deduct this reading from the glow plug readings. And that way will be accurate. Yeah, if you like the precise numbers, this is the way to go. And it's uh, simple. Yeah, subtract that number and we got our resistance as you can see glow plugs showing a good resistance okay 0 0.62 
That's first one, there is a second one, 0 0.57, number 3, yep, yeah. uh, that's an idea, that's uh, pretty much uh, what we want to see, this 1 ohm, around the 1 ohm, you don't want to see resistance too high, but that's uh, ideal, be around 1 ohm, here we go. Yeah, as I said, always uh, refer to your owner's manual and check your manufacturer specs. Okay, now the most funniest test and cool, my favorite one is a glow plug glowing test. It will get hot. Hey, connect uh, one uh, alligator clip to negative and another side of the jumper cable. Connect to this glow plug, like so, to the metal part, and then we need to touch the glow plug to the battery terminal and watch the reaction time. And we'll start our stopwatch. Here you go, you see that it's getting hot, it's glowing. It took us 12 seconds, roughly around that, 10-12. And be careful not to touch that hidden element because you'll burn yourself right away. Here you go, that's uh, glow plug number one. And uh, I also will say, yeah, check the even new glow plugs because they technically can be defective from the factory. And uh, we're going to do the same way the rest of the glow plugs. And uh, yeah, that's a cool test. I like it. Yeah. Pretty cool. It turn your uh, stopwatch on, touch that uh, battery terminal with a glow plug in, and turn the lights off and watch that glowing hot red glow plug light. Yeah, I think it will be interesting the topic for another video to do the uh, complete troubleshooting if you're that um, glow plug circuit check to start from the switch down to the relay glow plug control module and check that uh, coolant temperature sensor because it's all connected to the circuit down to the distribution and uh, glow plugs it's yeah it will be interesting especially yeah we can do it on the uh, mitsubishi delica or also we can do on a tractor or find something and uh, yeah share that troubleshooting procedure and uh, yeah, it will be interesting here we go there's another one and uh, 11 seconds 12 11.59 here we go glowing hot yeah that's pretty much what you need to see they're all glowing and uh, yeah if you have any questions please ask down in the comment section below if something is not clear or you would like me to make another video you will be interested to know and uh, yeah go and subscribe to the channel that's will be very appreciated yeah uh, if you would like to support my small YouTube channel please go and watch that video on the bottom or that on the top or that's another one on the site and uh, yeah stay safe easy cold diesel starts and uh, yeah, see you soon okay bye bye